One question I get asked most is, do you enjoy van building? And would you do another one? The first part is easy. I love building vans and I enjoy creating something that springs from our minds and seeing it turn from that idea into something real at my fingertips, right there in front of me. The second part of that question, well. Good morning guys, welcome back. Let me show you what I've been up to. Come on, around the back. So we've been a lot busier this time. So if you want to come on inside, I'll show you what I've been up to. So over the last week, I've been doing a lot of decorating. You can see it's absolute bombsite in here. We've got everything covering all the counters. We don't want to get any paint on it. We're protecting the sink. We don't get any paint on it. We've even got a little plastic bag over the tap here to stop it getting covered in paint. Because it doesn't matter how careful you are, you always drop a little drop of paint every now and again. So we've been painting the cabinets. I've redone the front doors. I'm about to um, finish them off and put them on. We've built a cabinet over here to house our electricals. There's a cool little quirky design there as well. Behind you, we've just done the framework of the um, overhead cupboard. Um, much better than the original that we had temporarily done. Um, that needs painting and I've got to build a door for that as well today. We've also done a little bit of wallpapering in the back here and it looks really good. Lots of painting, all the windows trim surrounds have all been cut to size. They have been stained and they've been varnished ready to go in. So that's my job today is to make it start looking a lot more prettier and get this tidied up as well. Because there's a bomb site in here and we've got a couple of days left at this location. So we need to get all ready and get ready for back on the road, you know. Just get all our life back in here again, bring all our clothes back in, and uh, hit the road again. Now you may be wondering what I'm doing with the sandpaper there. Um, I've, when I've fitted the fascia on, I've screwed it in place. Um, I countersunk the screws that they were in, put wood filler in there, and now sand it off so it gives a nice smooth finish and when you paint it you don't get any obvious screw holes or anything like that and it actually looks a little bit more professional it's definitely death by a thousand brush strokes in here everything needs painting and it doesn't just need painting once it needs painting two or three coats because you want to get it to look real nice So while we wait for those sections to dry and ready for the next coat, we've got the window frames to finish, the surrounds. So I made some nice surrounds to go around that actually complement the actual worktop. So we're gonna fit those now and uh, see if it comes up looking nice. Now, van building isn't for everyone, and I'm not even sure it's for me. But unless you're creating a cookie cutter design with rigid plans, this is gonna be a constantly evolving journey. You're never gonna get all those ideas that you started with to work. So you better adapt and you better grow as you build your van. Seems we've opened a little bit of a can of worms here. Um, I decided to take the rear bumper off because there was a little bit of rust down there. And uh, it's not so much rust as I'm worried about, it's just the paint's peeling off and flaking. So I just need to clean it up, rust treat it, and put it all back together and make it look pretty again. I've rust proofed that now, waiting for that to dry, waiting for all the paint to dry. So. I'll sign off for today because it's now the evening and I've been painting all day long and I'll show you the results tomorrow morning. Well hello there and good morning to you. So last night I uncovered a can of worms really, uh, opened a can of worms sorry, uncovered a big mess. And it wasn't that much, much of a mess, um, I cleaned it up with uh, a wire wheel on a drill and then I treated with um, acid anti-rust converter type thing. Um, that changed it back to metal and then I used a bitumous paint to um, 
make it all pretty again. And because it's going behind a bumper, instead of painting it white, there's no point because you're not going to see behind the bumper. So I painted it black and it's uh, much neater looking and we're ready to put the bumper back on. Before we put the bumper back on, we have got to repaint it because it's looking a bit old and faded. Um, I've got this Raptor liner paint. I'm now gonna paint it and it's gonna be a lot more hard wearing than normal paint because it's a step. We're gonna be walking over it all the time. So we need something that's gonna be a bit more durable than normal paint. So let's get painting it. So I'm gonna leave those to dry in the sun now and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna get on to doing some more painting and it's back to painting the ceiling. That's the last thing I need to do and then we can get the bed back in. Good morning, you haven't seen me yet this vlog. <laughs> um, I've just been called down to see if I can put this bed in because it needs two people, it's very heavy. As we saw in the last time we tried to take it out. <laughs> If we don't get the bed in, we don't sleep. No, I have to get the bed in because we actually have to get out of this house sit this week. Um, we've only got another five days here, so we need to get this van packed up and ready to go by tomorrow. Doesn't give it a lot of time and it looks like the van is still in pieces. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, looks, it looks a tip at the moment, but it's been an absolute lifesaver having this here. We've been able to just get the bed out, do all the things we wanted. It's like, I haven't got to, I haven't got to duck down and fit things. So. I'm really pleased with having all this time and being able to do what we wanted to do. And it looks a whole lot better. Scratch that. Um, just went ahead and look at the finish of the bed and it's, it looks like it's got some grainy material on it. I don't know what's happened to it. It wasn't like that before. Whether there's some sanding, I don't know whether something's fallen on it, bit of particles from the roof. I don't know, but it needs another paint of, paint of coat. Paint of coat? Paint of coat. <laughs> it needs another coat of paint. So. I need to go to Bunnings and get some more paint because uh, we can't shove that in like that because that will annoy us because we're a little bit of a perfectionist. Slightly. Yeah, it may look good on it may look good on camera, but when it comes to being there and living with it and staring at it at night, that is when it chips away at your very soul. That's <laughs> bit dramatic. Anyway, it looks rubbish. <laughs> I feel like I have to be on guard duty with a blower because things keep dropping onto the white paint. Like little black bugs or something. Dust, black dust. I guess you can see everything when it's pure white like that. But <laughs> I think I've got everything. I'm just gonna stand here with the blower. <laughs> so we did go out to Bunnings. We got some more paint and that's what Tim will be doing this afternoon. I know you don't wanna be watching paint dry. So we'll let him get on with that. <laughs> And we'll come back to you a bit later. Looks like it's my turn to paint, but I'm not just painting white. I am painting a chalkboard. Well, what we call blackboard here in Australia. Uh, just for something a little bit different and to write notes to people when we're at festivals and stuff like that. Or just to write notes to ourselves. And it's just going to go up on that electrical cupboard. And I think that was a really good idea. I haven't painted much before, so I'm really worried about making a mistake. So bear with me. If that needs two coats or not but I think I've done a pretty good job I had to go around the edges as well because you can see it <laughs> uh, does anyone know if this needs two coats we'll see how it dries well we are just tidying up the inside of the van right now there's white dust and stuff everywhere in there <laughs> so before we can put the bed back in like we said we're gonna do earlier we're just gonna have to tidy that up so we're gonna leave you and we'll see you tomorrow So it's straight into it this morning because we've only got one full day until we have to leave the house. Well, we have four days, but we have to work as you know. So this is our one big day of where the van has to be completed. So we've got to put the bed back in. We have to paint it. We have some stabilizers to do. Remember what they didn't fit last time because we needed those spaces. We've got those spaces now, so they're gonna go in. And I believe there's some running lights to do. So let's go talk to Tim and he'll explain what he's gonna do. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. So we're <laughs> going to replace these old crusty ones for cool modern ones. Um, these are also LED. They plug straight into the light holder. 
So they're going to look a lot better than that, and they're going to show That's up. That's cool that actually the light is in the cover. That's really cool. Yeah. That those, those are they're really... They're just little bulb holders, and that one's folded inside, so I mean, it only lights up that little bit. These are only small little fixes, but while we've got it, we might as well do it's it. Just, it's a little bit of styling. It's st <laughs> Not that we're house proud. No. <laughs> We don't have much time today, so how long do you think this is going to take? Because this is just a small job. Not too long. About this long. Nice. <laughs> that looks loads better. Way cooler. Way cooler. Now we've got to do the rest. <laughs> One of our major jobs for today is going to be those stabilizers putting on the back wheels because as you probably aware, the sprint is a little bit rocky. <laughs> So put these stabilizers on. We couldn't put it in last time because when we put it in, our um, what's ours is different, isn't it? Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. I'll get Tim. <laughs> so we can put it on last time because we got single parabolic springs. Um, normally these are made for triple springs, so this is a lot thicker and this thread doesn't matter how far it goes down. But because um, when that that's on and that's there, it finishes sort of there so and the nut only goes to there so that's no good so we've got some spaces to go there and then the nut and that will solve our problem looks like the spaces worked pretty well I think you can see there and uh, time will tell whether this will actually help it from rocking <laughs> cross fingers right it is time for this bed to go back into that van <laughs> Now I'm keeping the camera running because I'm expecting some droppage. Chaos. <laughs> Chaos. I had to get undressed on the way there. Uh, that was a mission, <laughs> but it's in now. Thank goodness. There's the van I know and love. <laughs> the bed. Yay, the bed's back in. Now we've got those springs on and we've got the wheels off, we might as well rotate the tyres because they haven't been done for a while. Switch the fronts to the back and we'll spruce up the tire, uh, the actual rims as well because they're getting a bit tatty and a bit faded. So I'm just going to give them a quick paint and pop them back on. Here's a perfect example. Every once in a while, you get a curveball. Now, I missed adding a strap to the grey waste tank here, and I had to take time out of the build to get this right before I could get back on track. I remember when you actually installed this initially, it was one of your favourite jobs. Yeah! <laughs> and here we are, back under again. Yes, it's a pace to do it right first time, mate. <laughs> Although it was, if I remember, it was a rush. It's one of the last minute rushes yeah. otherwise. Looks like it's another job ticked off the list. It's done, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad it's done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't feel it through the TV, guys, but it is 33 out in the sun, and this is a non insulated um, shed, as we mentioned earlier, so I reckon it's 40 plus in here, do you think? Easy. Yeah. yeah. The doggies are in air conditioning in the house, while the humans, stupidly, are down here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they are. As you can see behind me, we have. Oh, you can you see behind me? Oh, you can. I've. We started bringing in some of the furnishings, um, as most of the painting is now done, and uh, it's getting late. It's cooling down. Thank goodness. We have, still have iced coffees. <laughs> the goal is now to get this van onto the drive this afternoon. What else have you got to do to do that? Uh, I've just finished painting. Really. So he still uh, has and, more painting. <laughs> He's just finishing off these side lights at the moment and how awesome do they look? I only showed you one previously but they look so cool. So this um, front light. <laughs> yes, um, the pins snapped off inside, it's corroded so I've got to get a new plug for that one. Uh, uh, it should be too hard to source but then again it might be. You never know. It's one of those things. <laughs> you never know how hard things are. Things, you think things are easy and then next minute, yeah. three weeks later. And there just doesn't seem to be any places with 
breakers around that we can wreck the uh, get stuff off you know just a simple thing like that a plug is just a mission sometimes but it is what it is so we'll pop that back in we'll put the old one back on you uh, I'm just putting it in unwired so it just click in so, oh, okay. so I don't so, lose it down inside right so just, the body work, it just won't yeah. light up yeah it just won't light up it just look cool it's a black it's yeah. while Tim is painting and cleaning up he says I have got to hang out some washing. I know it's not exciting, but I washed the dogs and uh, they jumped on the bed and rolled themselves. So now it smells like wet dog. Brilliant. <laughs> I tell you what, a fitted sheet is hard to hang. <laughs> That's why it looks a bit dodgy. But anyway. Right, I think it's time to move the van out the front. We're just gonna get everything back in and locked down. I don't think you're ready, Aina. Almost. <laughs> oh. Mission. After we move the van to the front of the house, we'll be moving all of our stuff back in because we're leaving this house sit. I'm so excited to actually move back into a small little space again. I mean, a house sit is nice, but we love our little small van too. <laughs> it's very exciting. I think we're ready for takeoff. Yeah, just do a double check in there. Because we're out of practice. <laughs> very out of practice. <laughs> I think everything's locked in. Anything I think could move around anyway. All good? Yeah. Still got a lot of work to do up there when we get there. Yeah, but uh, let's move it. We installed this new step on the van to make it easier for me with my knees. However, we didn't anticipate how low it would sit. It really caught us off guard when Tim drove out of this garage. It was a close call and I'm actually really worried about this now being so low. I guess this is just something that we need to get used to thinking about when driving on uneven ground. Well, at least until we get the lift kit. That step almost hit. I just had to stop him really quickly. Big pattern? Oh. Okay, I like the step in some respects, but I don't like it because of this. Yeah. Oh, he's clear that easy. She felt a little bit more stable when we were going when I was going over the bumps over the grass, so it should be much better you on the road. Millimeters on that ground for yeah. that step. I was a bit. I was like, oh, no, that is quite a drop off out of that garage. Oh, I don't have to. I just don't want to have to worry about that step now. Yeah, well, you just have to be very careful in the future. <sighs> it's, that was a big drop off, and we don't usually do big drop offs like that. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get it parked. Yeah. <laughs> so the second part of the question: Would I build another van after all those long hours, those late nights? Yes. I would. It looks nice, eh? Please, <laughs> He's <it>. standing in <laughs> awe. <laughs> My admiration station. <laughs> well, we're going to leave you there this week. I hope you enjoyed our little vlog. It's another rush one trying to get everything done on the van before we leave this lovely workshop. I'm sure um, we just love doing things under pressure, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just need that time limit, don't you? Because mm. that way it sort of rushes you up and you get things done. Otherwise, you sit in your laurels. Yeah. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't already and... Always leave a comment. It's been great to have you guys along. If you want a sticker, give us a message. We have an address for you to send a sticker. If you have a sticker to send to we'll us, leave we it do below. a straight swap. Or I can just send a sticker out to you. That's not a problem. Also, we do have, oh, sorry. Ow. We do have <laughs> buy me a coffee. If you want to help out with anything, really, just buy us a coffee or do you want to get Pablo a treat? We don't mind. We'll make sure that Pablo gets his treats if they are allocated to him. <laughs> we will see you next week. Bye.